After leaving the Overwatch League last month, saying he didn't like the direction it was going and it stunted his creativity and freedom, Monte Cristo has moved on to better things because in a video that he released yesterday, he announced exactly why he left the Overwatch League and what his plans would be moving forward. And, uh, well, you could probably guess by the title of this video, actually, but Monte Cristo is moving to Cloud9. So I'm going to play that clip for you guys now, his announcement video. Hey everybody, this is Monte Cristo. Uh, I know you've seen a lot in the media recently about my departure from Overwatch League and I just wanted to have a chance to explain my experience to you and uh, tell you the reasons why I left. Uh, obviously, I've been with Overwatch League since the inaugural season and even before that I started casting Overwatch at the start of the competitive scene. I mean, going all the way back to Apex and now, I was there for the very first C9 that has ever happened in Overwatch, and I gotta tell you, this is gonna be my last C9 as well. So he's going to be a content creator for Cloud9 and he'll be partnering with them to design some competitive products, probably for gamers, that he'll be showing us shortly. So uh, looking forward to seeing those, not exactly sure what those could be, maybe some Cloud9 chairs or you know, maybe some gamer gloves for your little piglets or something, I don't know. But Mon Monte Cristo says that him going back to Cloud9 means he'll be able to express his creativity more, uh, so we can look forward to that. And he's actually teaming up with Thorin again to bring us back Summoning Insight, if you remember what that is. Let me show you the announcement video. Hey Thorin. What up dog? You know me, keeping it trill. So what's cracking? I know this is uh, a little weird considering you had to ask me to come back and do Summoning Insight for Worlds, but now that I'm not working in Overwatch any longer, I thought maybe we could do it for the whole year. The whole year? I mean, TSM only play two splits nowadays. I don't know. That sounds like a big commitment to shitting on the legacy of the players I dislike. Come on, think about it. Season one of Summoning Insight, it was just us and webcams. This time, season two, we're gonna fully produce it in the studio and it's just gonna keep getting bigger. Season three, we'll be on the world's analyst desk for Riot. Season four, we'll be running Riot. Season five, Oval Office, Summoning Insight. Season six, Masters of the Universe. What do you say? God Emperor of the Galaxy does have a nice ring to it. Okay, damn it, I'm in. Let's make Insight great again. They go and learn the day. Summoning Insight was a show that Monty and Thorin primarily ran where they would have frequent guests and occasional other hosts like Loco Doco. And you know, they would analyze different league players, different league teams, competitive league, stuff like that. It, it was a league podcast, but it was a pretty good show just because the minds on it are good people you know they're, they're people that know what they're talking about they're big on League of Legends so uh, I do suggest watching that if you got a chance but also since they are now partnered with Cloud9 that just means that their set and their actual production quality is just better now so hey I'd say go check it out and this is following Monte Cristo calling the Activision Blizzard esports CEO a liar for saying it was Blizzard's decision to remove all those casters when in reality they were asking for the casters to stay, which I believe Jake did cover in a video of his. I will put a link to that in the description if that is out yet, which it probably is out. So I'll have it down below if you want to check that out. But Monte Cristo actually even reached out to Papa Smithy, where he said that once those C9 vs. 100 Thieves games comes up to, for LCS this year, they should do some crossover content. And Papa Smithy actually replied. He said, I'm always down for a meeting of the minds. So we might be getting a 100 Thieves plus Cloud9 crossover content, you know, whatever the heck it is. So that's exciting. Probably going to be coming later this year. But uh, we'll be watching out for that. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. So take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.